I believe everyone is the average of the people they spend the most time with. My story is much too complicated to fit onto 20 slides, so I'd like to introduce to you to some of the cast of all-stars that have worked with me over the past 16 years. Coming up will be some photos of them today they sent me, um, next to some projects that we did together um, over the years. Uh, this is Kevin. Kevin was the first employee I ever hired. He was a graduate of UBC's web design program. He got bored really easily and was constantly pushing us with new ideas and strategies and technologies. He made tons of contributions I'm grateful for over seven years with my firm and now is the head of creative strategy for Edelman Canada. When Steph first applied to work with us, she was 18 years old. I was amazed someone so young could be so naturally talented um, with uh, forging her own path so bravely. Uh, she made me feel, um, she, she, she made me see the potential around us and um, after a couple of years with Metalab, she moved down to San Francisco and is the design lead for Airbnb, um, has won a ton of awards. Brandon was Steph's boyfriend, was a developer and a technologist who he hired. He, uh, he was a real problem solver. He set up our first network and, and, and server and now works uh, on secret projects. He cannot take a picture inside Apple, but he works for Apple as an iOS mobile uh, developer. Paul moved here from Toronto and joined us as a creative director. His passion for images were contagious. I've never seen anyone do in Photoshop what this guy can do. And after a number of years with us, he pursued his own dream of owning a creative firm and now owns the photography and retouching studio, Orange Apple. After living in a few year, for a few years in Japan, Matthew joined us as an intern. His, ja his laptop is all in Japanese, it was confusing. He was so keen and grateful um, to, to be there, he volunteered for everything and still does today. He was, he's a member of the Creative Warnings team. He joined Ion Design for a while and now is a, a design lead at TELUS. Lee's one of the funniest women that I know. She joined us as a young and experienced uh, designer but had an old soul indeed. Great collaborator, slick production technician, worked for Element for a couple of years and has launched a couple of successful apps as she runs her own design practice now. Alex joined us as an eager rookie ready to learn. He was the first, always the first guy to put his hands up at GDC events, volunteered for everything, um, really into community building. He regularly reminds me of the value of hard work and I appreciate his, his friendship to this day. He's now a UX and communication designer for a fancy firm out in Toronto. And my buddy Steve joined us twice. He was introduced to me as the only guy I needed to know from the grad class at Langara. He's a talented jazz musician, the photographer, a designer, and a developer. Uh, his dream was to work in the startup space, and so when he left my organization, he ended up being, becoming a uh, development lead at Hootsuite. Haig is an interactive designer who merged his firm with ours and became our first partner. A musician, self-taught developer, and teacher, Haig pushed us uh, to and um, allowed us to reimagine what a design studio could be using technology. He re returned to his own practice, became a professor at Emily Carr, a UX expert and speaker around the world, and is recently doing a research project with GrowLab. Along with Haig, Haig came this young woman named Amanda, who became a project manager with our team. She was calm and organized and took to complicated projects like it was second nature to her. A passionate, uh, passionate about s sustainability, she did an MBA in design, moved to Sunnyvale, California, and is now the project lead uh, at Intuit on QuickBooks, and now engaged to Brandon. Guess where they met? Sarah was a junior designer when she arrived, but left a lasting impression. Soft-spoken and an introvert, she taught me about respect as a manager when I crossed the line one day at work, and I appreciate that lesson. She worked at Canadian Red Cross for a number of years, and then was the creative director at Boulevard Magazine, and now has her own design practice. A native of France, Mathilde brought European aesthetic and work ethic to our team. Her excellent design and leadership on projects like this one made it a wildly successful real estate marketing campaign. We were sad that she had moved back to France, but her scientist uh, husband what, uh, was doing very important work and duty called. Sylvia I knew for years as a fellow press president uh, through GDC. And when she moved to Vancouver from Edmonton, we scooped her in an instant and made her our project manager, studio manager, sorry. An experienced producer, she, wore, she was a taskmaster and raised the bar in our studio. I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Inspired by her love of interior decorating, she recently followed her dream and launched her own consultancy, uh, Vintagey, where she finds vintage uh, home decor for people. This is our little Mexican jumping bean, Joanna. She uh, joined us from uh, Emily Carr after doing her master's degree. Um, she brought guacamole to her food, to her, to, her, uh, to her job interview, so we had to hire her. <laughs> when my buddy Ryan Holmes, founder of Hootsuite, called and said, I need a young designer, know anybody? She got the job, and she's 
their lead brand designer now. Daniela was my, I was a mentor to Daniela. She did her grad project at Emily Carr, so I kept a close eye on her. When she was available, I grabbed her. She joined our team, did great work. She's very ambitious. She now is the uh, exhibit designer and graphic designer for the Vancouver Aquarium and one of the chairs of the SEGD in Vancouver. Nicole joined us from this program, from Kwantlen, and her energy and her drive made her a natural choice to be a project manager, and she was with us for quite a while. She's a volunteer to this day with GDC, and she's, she and I produce Like Mind together. Um, sometimes you have to let people go in order for them to, to, to succeed, so I had to say goodbye and let her follow her dreams, and she now works with Kevin at Edelman. Matt is another designer who returned a couple of times to work with us, which says a lot a quirky dyslexic from England. He expertly led our design team for many years before becoming our second partner. I admire Matt's sense of humor and willingness to do, get it done right no matter what it takes. He and his wife recently moved to Port, uh, Prince George, so we've lost him as well. And finally, this is Tyler. Tyler was a senior designer who specialized in, in web interface design. He did fabulous work outside of web too, like this packaging project. We did uh, branding for a winery, and he left a lasting impression on our group. Um, uh, he now is a UX designer at Atimi, a mobile apps uh, uh, software company in Vancouver. That's just a small sample of those who made my story interesting. This is my co-founder, uh, who I've known since I was seven, and our core team today, and I think they deserve an entire presentation dedicated to them as well. But I want to you know, wonder how smart, or doesn't, how smart or talented I am doesn't, doesn't mean much without surrounding myself with good people. So I want to tell their story as my story and, and challenge you to think who in your life deserves some recognition when you tell your story next time too. I hope I hear some of your stories later.